Hello guys, welcome to Elastic Channel. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again. Today we're gonna troubleshoot a little bit about uh, Windows Server 2022, how to troubleshoot DNS Server in Windows Server 2022. The first thing is that uh, what I notice in here is um, when I want to ping, um, uh, ping 10.0.2.10, uh, 15 as my DNS server so I can ping from client to DNS server which has uh, which, which there is no any issue so my domain is uh, so I can ping by DNS but let's see IP config slash flash DNS if I flash DNS if I can ping I cannot ping by IP in here uh, IP con slash flash dns so ping yes so what i'm getting in here is that it shows that um, i'm not able to ping uh, my dns server main while my domain controller don't forget it's very very important in here the first thing you need to do is to figure out and come to um, uh, Ethernet uh, properties and configuration to see if everything is okay. So when I came here and double click, make sure to assign IP manually, not DHCP. Guys, make sure to not assign DHCP. Okay, it's 10.0.2.15, 255.255.255.0 is my subnet and the gateway is 10.0.2.2.2. And the is also fine, so it means I have no issue with assigning IP. This is the first thing you have to make sure. Okay, once you make sure that one, that one as well. The second thing is host name. Host name. Okay, so this is your host name, and your client is also okay, but the client's not able to access. Uh, something is wrong with the DNS server, and we are not able to ping the DNS server. The first thing is to um, to come to DNS. Okay, here's the issue. The server guest could not be connected. There is it. The server is unavailable. Okay, okay. So when you click in here, there is an issue with the DNS server. The first thing you need to do is to all tasks start. So it was not a start. First, the second is refresh, uh, refresh, and so uh, expand the forward lookup zone and expand the reverse, uh, reverse lookup zone. Guys, remember that in the same in the same range. Remember that the same range of the ip that you have you should have a proper uh, proper ip range for the uh, for the reverse lookup zone as well so it seems to me so far there isn't any issue no problem um and this is the range this is the, the amount that we are uh, we're supposed to use Guys, this is very important. Zoom uh, file name is 10.0.2 because 10.0.2 is the range that I'm using in my in my environment. I can say in my domain environment. So everything is okay in here because it could be because the DNS server was off. That's why. Or if I come in here, everything is okay. Let's try again. Uh, am I able to ping? I am able to ping the DNS server. This is how you can, I can say, uh, troubleshoot. This is how you can troubleshoot your DNS. CMD, mm, ping areas, tick.com. Give me, oh, um, it's not as strong. Uh, ping EMI, tick.com. So the reason which I'm not able to ping, guess how? We, I, in, in here, this is how we can troubleshoot IP config slash flash DNS. Um, yes, .com. Oh, it's double, guys, double O. Uh, so that's a good thing you can do flash DNS. So now here is what it is. Meanwhile, the, another, the last command is NS. 
lockup lock ns lockup in ns lockup if you see the default server is defined by elastic.com and others also defined at 10.0.2.15 uh, so i can access by name and i can access by ip as well the same as in here ns lockup so and ns lockup there you go i can assign and i can see my dns server is working without any issue uh probably the question is uh, he just what uh, i uh i'm suggesting you guys to go ns uh, ncpa.cpl this is a common uh, where you can get to very shortly in ethernet properties uh, the last thing you have to make sure that your clients is also connected to the same DNS. This, this one has the DNS and your clients also connected to this DNS. That's why this client is able to access the DNS because the DNS is assigned. Okay, guys, in the next lecture, uh, or um, uh, thank you for watching and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, be brave, and of course, see you guys next time.